What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today, we're gonna be talking about another Season of Defiance weapon that comes from the war table and those seasonal battlegrounds that we have with Mara Sav and these Dreaming City weapons. We're gonna be talking about the Solar Fusion Rifle in Royal Executioner. Now, this thing is pretty gnarly inside of the PV e realm with a pretty special role in my opinion with a new perk that i absolutely love and even inside of the crucible is a banger doesn't have the range of some of the other fusion rifles but it is sitting at a nice 75 impact and you can get some beautiful perks on it to help with that range in my personal opinion and just lay through some guardians so starting out with our PvP roll, we're going to have that adaptive frame with that plus 10 range on its masterwork so we can sit at 41 range. The stat layout for this weapon is at the bottom there with impact at 75, range at 41, stability at 40, handling at 45, and reload at 32. Now for our first perk for PvP right here, we're gonna be using Fluted Barrel. This gives us that handling and stability so we can switch on and off of this weapon just a little bit faster. Plus it gives us that extra stability so we can get mapping those guardians consistently, which comes into play with our third and fourth perk. Now for me, this one right here isn't going to change between PvP and PvE. We got that liquid coils, gives us a little slower draw time, but that impact is so, so nice. You can absolutely annihilate guardians, like I said with this, and that charge time, in my personal opinion, doesn't make that big of a difference here, especially with those perks we have coming. Now for my enhanced perk in the third column, we went with slick draw right here. So we have that increase to handling, but it gives us decrease to target acquisition. And that, in my personal opinion, with a fusion rifle doesn't seem to affect it inside of the crucible too terribly much. You're still going to hit most of those bolts that come from the fusion rifle and that increased handling to bump it all the way up to 45 is so so nice like i said to switch on and off the weapon just a little bit faster switch into your hand cannon your smg whatever you're using in that kinetic slot now last but certainly not least for this pvp roll right here we got successful warm-up which combats that slower charge time that we have so each final blow increases the charge speed for an in Improved duration so every final blow that charge time is going to go down a little bit hence why we have it built how we do like i said you can just start laying through a group of guardians especially after you get that first defeat everything starts procking together and you can just annihilate guardians now when we move on to the pve roll where i think this thing truly shines and we have a very interesting combination of perks in that third and fourth column but first we're going to be using that charge time for our intrinsic perk right here that masterwork if you will which brings us down to 620 milliseconds on that charge time and you can see the stat line at the bottom there we have impact at 70 range 41 stability at 40 handling at 30 reload speed at 32 with seven in the mag now for our first perk in this, we're using that hammer forged rifling to give us that increased range. I felt like we needed at least 40 on this to really get it competitive with some of the other fusion rifles that we have. So that is why I chose to pick hammer forge over some of the other ones that we have, but definitely feels the best in my opinion. Now, like I said, for the PVP roll, we're going to be using liquid coils in this one as well to give us that increase in damage, stacking it up to 70 with that decrease in charge time. But it doesn't matter because we're hitting very hard with this gun and with that master worker charge time, we're down to 620 anyways. Next up right here is our first enhanced perk in Envious Assassin. One of the reasons this role is so good, pairing this new perk that we got with Lightfall with the fourth one that we'll go over with in a second. This Envious Assassin is easily one of my favorite perks that came out with Lightfall. So throwing it on a lot of my weapons, very, very good. 
Now, Envious Assassin defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one transfers ammo to the magazine from reserves. This effect can overflow the magazine based on the number of defeats beforehand. So if we're getting defeats with our strand auto rifle, something like that, all of those defeats are going to overflow this weapon, being able to stack about 15, 16 shots in this bad boy, which is absolutely gnarly, especially when you pair that with our next perk in our fourth column. Now, the reason that that overflow is so good with Envious Assassin is a Reservoir Burst right here. When the battery is full, your next burst deals additional damage first off and causes the target to explode on death. So this right here with that overflow in the magazine, everything over seven shots is going to give us Reservoir Burst as well as that seven, the max base number. So Envious, like I said, can reload us up to 14, 15, 16 shots, depending on how many defeats you get with this weapon. And then each one of those from seven up is going to count for Reservoir Burst, giving you that extra damage, as well as that nasty solar explosion on the defeats with the weapon. And just the cherry on top gives us that plus five to stability. The origin trait for these weapons here are Noble Deeds. So this weapon gains charges after assisting allies with revives heals or overshields subclasses defeating targets consumes this charge while charged this weapon gains bonus handling reload speed or charge for a sword so definitely one of my favorite roles with this season and all of these weapons from the ward table and mara Sof have some pretty awesome roles on it so i will be going over all of those remaining as well from this ward table so make sure to come back to the channel hit that subscribe and bell so you get those noties when i do post post very often on youtube and i truly appreciate all you coming back that do to the channel and everybody that is new as well coming by and checking it out so thank you guys again definitely get to crafting these i'll catch y'all in the next one peace